It's one mega project after another. Ready for a trip? Let's take you all the way to Northern Europe, specifically the so-called realm of the polar bears. Yeah, it's actually true. The polar bear population exceeds that of humans living in Norway. But that's just one of the long list of intriguing things about Norway. Enjoy our scoops into the world's extraordinary mega projects? Go ahead and subscribe to join the community. Western Norway is known for its picturesque mountains, cold fjords, and challenging driving conditions. The nearly 700-mile trip between the cities of Kristiansand in the south and Trondheim in the north normally takes approximately 21 hours, traveling at an average pace of around 30 miles per hour with seven boats along the way. However, that can soon alter. The Norwegian government is planning a $47 billion infrastructure project to replace the ferries with bridges, conventional tunnels, and maybe the world's first floating tunnel. So without further ado, let's take you on a deep dive into Norway's newest proposed floating tunnel. It's not a completely new idea. In 1882, a floating bridge crossing the English Channel was proposed but rejected. So, why after more than a century has a project of this magnitude finally received acclaim and acceptance? Well, to put it into plain perspective for you, the underwater roadway would help shorten the travel time between Kristiansand and Trondheim virtually in half, while minimizing the environmental impact on the area. It consists of a pair of concrete tubes submerged around 100 feet below the water's surface. According to experts, the floating tunnel idea is particularly well-suited for deep fjords surrounded by steep mountains, qualities that make it very challenging to drill tunnels or erect bridges. The ideas for infrastructure would cost Norway no less than $47 billion and result in incredible fjord-crossing solutions. Considering the $2 billion Bakhnafjorden tunnel, a subsea tunnel that is 27 kilometers long and built 390 meters below sea level, it will be the world's longest and deepest tunnel. The Sula Fjorden Bridge will eventually span a 4 kilometer wide body of water. The Stjornford Crossing, however, is the trickiest. It is the largest fjord in Norway, measuring 3,700 meters in width and 1,300 meters in depth. A number of solutions such as floating submerged tunnels, enormous bridges, or a combination of the two will need to be considered in order to accommodate the needs of both land-based and maritime traffic while also remaining within a reasonable price. With bridges that span long distances, you need arches and suspensions at certain points. But for a submerged floating tunnel, if you do it absolutely correct and balance the weight of the structure with the buoyancy of the structure, it can go on forever. This was said by Niels Erik Anders Ronquist, a professor of structural engineering at the Norwegian University of Science and Technology and project consultant for the government. Though it sounds cool saying that a tunnel floats, the floating tunnel isn't really floating. The tubes would be held steady by cables fastened to the ocean floor or by pontoons floating on the water at intervals of around 800 feet. According to Ariana Minoretti, a chief engineer for the Norwegian Public Roads Administration, the tunnel wouldn't obstruct the movement of ships, boats, or even submarines because the majority of the hardware would be buried deep underground. The floating tunnel would contain escape routes that drivers may use to get back to the surface in an emergency, just like conventional tunnels. Additionally, Minoretti claimed that early analysis of the proposed tunnel safety was encouraging. According to Ronquist, the tunnel has been subjected to simulations for large explosions, underwater hits, situations in which a trawler might hook onto the tunnel, and even the possibility that a ship might be sinking at the surface and strike the tunnel on the way down. In his own words, he said, I'd say that things are in order. It has a very sturdy construction. 
But of course, challenges are inevitable. Michael Mooney, a professor of civil and environmental engineering at the Colorado School of Mines, noted that planning for all potential glitches would be the most challenging aspect of designing and constructing a massive structure that is a first. Mooney, who isn't engaged in the Norwegian project, had this to say. You want to make sure you think of all the potential load scenarios or things like wave motion. So, it's very clear that the main challenge is identifying all the problems and avoiding being taken by surprise. Professor Kevin Chang of Civil and Environmental Engineering at the University of Idaho made a comparable evaluation of the difficulties in constructing such a tunnel. The engineering community, he continued, tends to be on the conservative side. However, when it comes to unique ideas, someone has to sort of take a risk and declare, we think this is the best solution even though it hasn't even been tested elsewhere. The floating tunnel is scheduled to start accepting traffic in 2050. It may be the first building of its kind, but it may not be the last. Bronquies claim that engineers in China and Italy are researching analogous ideas. A project of this size will not only leave a significant impact on Norway's breathtaking scenery, but also improve living for its citizens. Again, it will also introduce the region to the rest of the globe this project might just draw attention from around the world to the far north. A project of this magnitude even has a chance of exceeding its budget. Some researchers have totaled a predicted amount of nearly $57 billion. We'll all probably be old by the time this mega project is up and running, but you can't deny it's definitely a wonder in anticipation, waiting for how and when this mighty structure will commence its operations. But till then, the world anxiously awaits. What do you think about Norway's floating tunnel? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. For more intriguing dives into the mega projects of the world, like this video and of course, subscribe to join our community of architectural enthusiasts. We hope to see you again in our next video.